Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen this is me Anayat Afridi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Learning English with Anayat Afridi In my previous lecture I defined one of the important parts of speech and that is noun from a different box and right in this lecture I'm going to give you the classification system of noun based on type from nine different books so the first book that classify nouns into seven important categories is guide to good writing written by Morton H. Manser exec page number 98, 99 and 100 respectively. At these pages the noun has been classified into seven important categories including number one proper noun, number two common noun, number three countable noun, number four uncountable noun, number five concrete noun, number six abstract noun and the last one is the collective noun now moving toward the next one and that is the high school english grammar and composition written by ren and martin where the noun has been classified into six important categories these are number one common noun number two proper noun number three collective noun number four abstract noun number five countable noun and number six uncountable now. The third source where the noun has been classified into five important categories is the effective ways to elegant English written by J.V. Subramaniam where the noun has been classified into five categories including number one proper noun, number two common noun, number three collective noun, number four material noun and number five is the abstract noun. Moving toward number four the Webster Pocket Grammar Speech and Style Dictionary of English Language, the noun has been classified into five important categories. Number one, common noun. Number two, concrete noun. Number three, abstract noun. Number four, proper noun. And number five is the collective noun. Now moving toward the fifth one, which is outline of English grammar written by George Stans, where noun has mainly two important classes number one proper noun and number two common noun and furtherly in this book the common noun has been classified into two subcategories number one countable noun and non countable noun which are the subcategories of the common noun in the book named in kate english written by imran Hashmi and rizwana said the noun has seven important types including number one proper noun number two common noun number three collective noun number four material noun number five abstract noun number six countable noun and the seventh is the uncountable noun while the next one where the noun has been classified into six important types is the webster's shape of your english written by eleanor abraham number one uncountable noun number two countable noun number three proper noun Number four, concrete noun. Number five, abstract noun. And number six is the compound noun. Where the next book name, Writing and Grammar Communications in Action, Corporal Level, and the program author for the books are including Joyce Armstrong's Carol, number two, Edwards and Evalsons, and number three, Gary Follens. And this book, the noun has three important classes. Number one, comma noun number two proper noun and number three as the compound noun while moving towards the last one discovering the world of english grammar and compositions the verb noun has five important classes number one common noun number two proper noun number three collective noun number four abstract noun and number five is the concrete noun so this has been a very genuine and authentic research I uh, took out from eight important grammar books and I hope you get much more benefit from the classification of noun based on types and hopefully it will give you much more benefits both in speaking and in your academic skills. Stay with Anaita Freely and do subscribe my YouTube channel Learning English with Anaita Freely. Stay blessed and stay happy. Thanks for watching. Oh,